Welcome to the She Did It Her Way podcast, where it's all about making the ultimate leap from your nine to five and building a business and life you love, all while doing it your way. I'm your host, Amanda Bolin. Let's get started. Hey friend, if you live in the States, then this week you're most likely celebrating Thanksgiving and this week the She Did It Her Way team and I are taking off to be present with friends and family. So no official quote unquote podcast episode is going to air, but I do want to share just a little piece of a nugget, a story with you that will hopefully inspire you to understand why it is important to practice gratitude. So five years ago, I really battled with myself to practice gratitude. I was in a place in my life that my brain was focused on lack and it was focused on what wasn't working in my life and what wasn't in my life. And it was focused on you know what my life should look like, what it should be, right? But it wasn't that I all of a sudden woke up one day and I decided that I was going to focus on all of these things, right? And if you've been a long time listener of the podcast, you know that one of my favorite quotes is that where your focus goes, your energy flows and your results will show. And you can bet that the results that I got were directly correlated with where my focus was. And this was something that I had cultivated slowly over time. And it I had caught myself in a closed thought loop of where I was putting my focus. And what I wanna offer up to you today, and not just necessarily this week specifically, but more as a tool for life, is the practice of gratitude and why it's important to do it. Because five years ago where I was at in my life, the thing that changed everything was this practice of gratitude, 100%. Because abundance and scarcity are two completely different energetic vibrations. And you cannot criticize your current life and business all while expecting something greater to manifest. It doesn't work like that. And it took me a handful of years to understand this. As an example, I used to look at my bank account and get mad frustrated that, you know, there wasn't more in the account. And for years, it was stagnant. The money that was coming in was the same amount, if not more, going out. And I was so frustrated and had gotten so angry at myself and I resented looking at my bank account. But it wasn't until that I decided to look at the number in my account and express gratitude, regardless of what was in there, that it changed everything and that it started to grow. Did it change overnight? No. But did it change over time? 1000%. Because our current reality today is a lagging indicator of our focus and thoughts of yesterday, right? It's criticizing someone who has a luxury handbag, even though you ultimately want one. If you want a luxury handbag, it's going to be pretty hard to do that if you criticize the abundance, if you criticize someone else for having exactly what it is that you want, right? And so the quickest way to shift from the scarcity thinking to abundant thinking is to bring in that awareness what you're grateful for because it changes your energetic vibration. This also works, practicing gratitude also works so well, when you're in states of overwhelm. I know this because, and, and I know I, I know this because I've experienced this and my clients experience this because we're all human. And there are states and stages and seasons of our life where we are overwhelmed. And in those moments, it can be really easy to go down a path and a spiraling out loop of what's not working, getting frustrated, creating this unnecessary suffering, thinking things that should be different than what they are today, you can go down that path or you can go down the path of in that moment catching yourself, taking a step back and being like, you know what, what's the bigger picture? Let me get perspective. What am I grateful for? And sharing either writing or typing or speaking out loud, expressing three things that you are grateful for. Sometimes when I get overwhelmed, the quickest thing to bring me back into the vibration that I wanna be is simply being grateful for having life and for having breath because that is what creates that perspective that when everything can feel like it's going to shit, that ultimately I am grateful because I can breathe. I'm grateful for the trees. I'm grateful for the internet to be able to run a business, right? So find those three things that you are grateful for, write them down and speak them out loud. 
with that, I'm so grateful for each and every single one of you who show up and tune into this podcast every single week, who, you know, maybe we're not interacting directly on Instagram or Facebook, or we've never had that interaction, but I just know that you're out there and I know that you're doing the work and I'm so grateful for it because I love that you're doing it and it makes me so happy and it is because of you that I get to do something that I love and I don't take that for granted and I'm so grateful for you as my listeners I'm so grateful for my clients my family my spouse home and I am so grateful for what is about to come even though it may have not manifested in the physical realm you can this is also another trick when it comes to gratitude you can be grateful for things that have not physically manifested yet to bring them into your world and accelerate that process. I hope you have an amazing week and holiday. I will talk to you next week. And until then, keep doing it your way. If you enjoyed today's podcast episode, you can head on over to she did it her way podcast.com where you can access the entire vault of she did it her way podcast episodes and more information all about how to make the ultimate leap from your nine to five. And if you enjoyed today's episode, I would be so grateful if you had it on over to iTunes and left a review, letting me know what you love about the She Did It Her Way podcast. Until next time, keep doing it your way.